Welcome to How to Evaluate Sources. This video will cover how to make sure the information and sources you find for college-level research projects are appropriate and trustworthy. We'll use two helpful methods, SIFT and CRAP. SIFT helps us think carefully about our sources. It stands for Stop, Investigate the Source, Find Better Coverage, and Trace Claims. Let's break it down. First, stop. Don't rush. Take a moment to think about where the information is coming from. Next, investigate the source. We use the CRAP test here, which checks for currency, references, authority, appropriateness, and purpose. Check the currency by looking at the publication date. Make sure that any source meets any assignment requirements for currency and that it is as current as possible for your topic. R is for references. Look to see if there are citations throughout the information. Just like you need to do for your assignment, the source should support its claims with traceable citations and reliable supporting documentation. For authority, find out who wrote the information. Look for the author and sponsoring organization. They should be easily identifiable and experts in their field. Do a quick Google search to verify credentials or check a website's about page. The second A is for appropriateness. Think about your assignment along with the quality and type of information you are looking at. The source type, length, and quality need to meet the assignment needs and should be useful when directly quoting, summarizing, or paraphrasing the information in your work. If the source is insubstantial and too short, does not provide access to the full text of the information, and does not actually help you further your research, it's likely not worthy of use. Lastly, consider the purpose. Be careful with sources that are trying to sell you something. They might not be objective. Let's see SIFT and CRAP in action with an open web search using Google. As soon as you have a results list, stop and investigate. Use the titles of a page to get information about its appropriateness and the date, if listed, to assess currency. Use the URL for the website name and clues as to how the page is organized and categorized within that website. Additionally, use the end domain for clues as to the type of organization providing the information. .com sites are for commercial use, either directly or indirectly. .edu is for educational institutions. .org for not-for-profit organizations. And .gov for government entities. If there is an entry that passes the CRAP criteria, click on the link to open the web page and apply the rest of the evaluation criteria. Look near the article or page title for a date of publication, or look all the way in the footer for a copyright date to ensure currency. Read through the information and look for citations throughout to verify references. Google the author's name or read about the organization on their about page to verify authorship. Just so you know, deleting everything after the top level domain will get you to the site's homepage where you can learn more about the site. Look at the actual substance and type of the information, assess its appropriateness for quoting, summarizing, or paraphrasing. And finally, make sure that the purpose of the information is worthy enough to incorporate in an assignment written for an academic audience such as your peers and your professor. After investigating the source with CRAP, continue with the SIFT method. Trace claims within the article by actually clicking on links to see where they lead and checking to see if the sources support the claims made. Then, find additional information by searching for more sources in our library catalog. Enter your search terms and discover a variety of scholarly articles and books on the same topic. Reviewing these additional sources allows you to assess the depth and the accuracy of your original article, and by referencing multiple types of information in your work, it will help you build a robust research project.